Welcome once again to tonight podcast. You're listening to the G and Chandler show, Monday to Friday, eight to nine a.m. New York time and eight to nine p.m. in the Philippines. And here's your host, G and Chandler from the Philippines. Good morning, Chandler. Hi, G. Good morning. And good evening there. Yeah. Good evening, Manila. We're here again on tonight podcast, and you can listen uh listen to us live on tonightpodcast.com forward slash live. We have a live chat box, right? Yes, that's right. And you're supposed to have an episode today with. Janus and you? Ah, oh, let's not talk about it. No, I mean, people are expecting you and Janus to be. Yeah, I don't know what happened to him. I don't know where is he. Okay. He's online, online to Skype and he's in Facebook mm-hmm. right now. I don't know what happened. Because he's in the batang yun. I don't know. <laughs> well, Janus, if you're listening or if you're you're hearing this, please go on Skype. And Chandler is waiting for you. By the way, guys, if you oh, just no, listen to us for the first time, I'm going. To- if you just listen to us for the first time, we're using Skype to connect with each other, and this is a podcast, which means you can download our replays after the end of this podcast, live podcast. All right, Chandler, you were saying. Sabiko, I'm going to do this by myself. It's it's an episode which is titled "He Said, She Said." Not anymore. Right? Not, Not anymore. anymore. Okay. Not anymore. But are are we gonna wait for Janice to go online? No, not anymore. Okay. Okay. So, what's the topic? It's all about cheating. Oh, okay. That's a good topic then. Big word, cheating. You hate the word. Yes. Everybody Not hates really. that. I don't know. Not really. Okay. <laughs> so, could you introduce your topic? Miss DJ Your talaga? <laughs> your talaga? <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's your topic. Hello? Do, 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 do. Hey. Hello. Okay. Hello. Yes. Yes. Continue. Kada ako na wala ka na eh. Oh, I'm here. Mga lalaki talaga tumitiklop pag napag-uusapan ng cheating. Mm-hmm. Marami dyan. Kadalasan. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, guys. Um, to all, to all the listeners, anywhere, kung saan mang platform yan sa site yan na nakikinig this we're talking about cheating uh, uh, Shandala what? before you continue could you get closer to the microphone? kasi parang malayo ka eh parang malayo ako? right? Yeah. yeah yeah I mean yeah uh, yeah that's better okay now? Yes, it's better. Hindi lang ako nagsasalita ng medyo malakas kasi naiinis ako. You know one thing what? I hate? One thing I hate? Yes? Kapag may sinabi ka at hindi mo ginawa, nakakainis mm. yun. Mm. And sana, kung hindi yes. mo magagawa, sana, you know, nagbigay ka ng pasubali. Na, Sorry, I can't make it. Mm-hmm. Pwede naman yun, diba? Wala namang pilitan yun eh. 
Hindi, baka si Janus naman, meron siyang technical problems. Kaya hindi siya nakasipot ngayon. Technical problem? Uh, yeah, I mean, we're all using uh, digital digital communications, internet, so, you know, something comes up and he can lose connection. So, just wait for him. He might come on board anytime. No, I'm not waiting for him. Okay. I'm All right, as you were saying. Okay, as I was saying, cheating, you know, in relationships. Hindi yung nangongopia ka ng, ano, ng answer sa exam. Not that kind of cheating. Hindi yung pork barrels come. Not kind, that kind of cheating. I'm talking about cheating in a relationship. Mm, maraming tatamaan very, dyan, no? Yeah, that is very common. You know, yung pakikiapid, paki, pak, pangangalun niya. That is very Siguro, common. Siguro, ano, not very common. Common no? lang. No, it's very common. Do you have stats? You cannot, you cannot argue with that. Do you have stats? Well, um, stats will be like, it's not, ano, it's not always reliable. Kasi, sino ba nga hmm. amin? You know, guys, <laughs> so what's, what's your basis for saying it's very common? <laughs> Come on, hindi mo na kailangan, uh, hindi mo na kailangan ng figures, <laughs> ng, ng pie graph. Kailangan natin ng figures. Kung, kung common to or very common to, nangyayari yeah, naman to sa totoong na? buhay at kahit. <laughs> <laughs> ha? May difference <laughs> yung common tsaka very common. Hindi. This is very common. Nangyayari. No, it's common. Not very common. It is. <laughs> okay. It is very common. But you And have to back it up with numbers. Like how many? No, how often? I'll, like I'll, I'll, 1 out of 10? 2 out of 10? I'll back it up with back it up. situations. <laughs> not numbers. You back it up. You just said you buck it up. I'll buck it up. You back it up. Whatever back. do you ever. <laughs> you have to say words properly. I did. Okay. I don't know if I said it. Okay. All right. Okay. Let's go back to topic. As you were saying, it's very common. Yes. Okay. Yes, it's very common. All right. I'm going to give you the benefit of the doubt that it's very common so you can continue with the discussion. All right? Okay. Okay, I'll continue. make this short. Which one? I'll make this short. This 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 topic. Why? Why? Yes. Why? Because I'm naiinis. <laughs> si Janice kasi. All right, go. So it's very common, as you were saying. Oh, na pilit mm-hmm. mo talagang kino kontra. Mm-hmm. Siyempre, lalaki ka eh. What do you mean kinokontra? Sabihin Sino kumokontra? Talaga... Ikaw, kinokontra mo. Nas- yung sinasabi ko na very common to. Itong cheating. Hindi. I'm just asking you if you could quantify that. Hindi. Sabi mo, very, very common? common? Siguro naman, hindi very common. Common lang. O hindi pa ba pangongontra yun? I'm just qualifying it. Or quantifying well, it. Well, yun. Sa'yo yun. Okay? Siguro sa'yo, it's not very common. Siguro common lang. Hmm. Okay. Okay. That's why this episode is called He Said, She Said. Not anymore. She said lang to. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Alright. Now I get it. Now I get it. Okay. Man, it's it's so she big. said. Naiinis talaga ako. Alam mo yun, kumukulo yung dugo ko. Okay. We'll try to, I know. We'll try to define what is cheating. Okay. And um, 
give signs of cheating. Mm-hmm. How to deal with cheating in this episode? Okay, good. Okay, so what is cheating? Para sa isang tao, or para sa iyo, or para sa akin, ano ba ang cheating? Well, hindi yan pare-pareho. Nagkakaiba-iba ng ng punto de, punto de vista ang bawat bawat tao sa point na to, dito sa cheating na to. Hindi pare-pareho ang pakahulugan ng bawat individual patungkol sa pangangalun niya or pakikiapit. Parang Tagalog na Tagalog naman yun. Oh, you know, to be able to define cheating, you have to talk to your partner heart to heart. And you have to set boundaries. You have to, you know, um, uh, define cheating sa inyong dalawa. What would you consider cheating? Kung nalang sa akin, ito, I have this, this is cheating for me. Ano, ano ang cheating para sa iyo? Are we going to meet halfway? Or masyado bang malayo yung definition natin sa cheating at hindi tayo magkakasundo? Are we going to to fill the gap para mag-work tong relationship na to? Kasi dapat pareho kayo ng 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 mga considerations or ng ng what you call this ng concept kung ano ang cheating para sa inyo. Kasi mamaya, para sa, kunwari, para sa akin, cheating pala is like, um, para sa partner ko, yung go dancing with someone na he finds attractive. Sa akin, cheating na yun. Halimbawa lang. Kung halimbawa sa akin, cheating na yun, tapos sa kanya pala, hindi. Hindi mag-aaway lang kayo. Diba? ba? Meron din mga iba, I mean, masturbate to porn. Cheating na ba yan? You have to identify kung ano yung mga pwedeng, pwedeng gawin ng partner mo for you to consider na nag-cheat na siya. Like, um, hot chat with someone. Is that cheating to you? Kiss someone lightly. Or, um, what else? Like, um, sleep in the same bed with someone. Or go on a vacation with someone. Go out on a dinner with someone you find attractive. Uh, Shandala. Yes. Can I butt in? Yes. Okay. When you say sleep in the same bed with someone, is this like uh-huh. sleeping in a like a camping or a conference? Or I mean, can you define that? Can you be more specific about? Because the word sleeping is sometimes used for like making out, eh? right? Are you saying that yeah. s- sleeping in the same bed na parang due to the conditions or circumstances they were forced to like share the same bed yeah right? Unari, ganito. Okay. you you went out of town or you went climbing or okay. you went in a you went camping tapos mm-hmm. nalaman mo na yung yung nalaman ko na yung boyfriend ko katabi pala niya katabi pala niya or kasama niya dun sa tent niya is babae mm, okay pwede ko sabihin bakit babae kayong dalawa lang ba magkasama? Pwede naman lalaki na lang kasama mo dun sa tent. Or katabi yes, mo dun okay. sa kasama. Bakit babae? So siguro, mm-hmm. para sa boyfriend ko, wala yun. You know, we're in the same group. Uh, magkakaibigan kami dito. For me, it's, it's no big deal sasabihin ng guy sa akin. Pero sa akin mm-hmm. pala, masama na yung takbo ng utak ko dun. Yes. So yun nga yung sinasabi ko, kailangan pag-usapan nyo to. Kailangan i-identify nyo kung ano yung cheating at hindi para sa inyo. Isa pang tanong. Okay, bago ko makalimutan. Kasi I'm taking notes, alright? Okay. Kiss someone lightly. Ito ba yung social kissing in like social graces? Like, uh, beso-beso, 
Uh-huh. I mean, I don't beso beso is not cheating. I mean, it's it's part of social graces like uh, greeting a female friend. Sometimes you do the beso beso, right? Or kissing lightly on the cheeks. But can that be cheating when you know or can it be done in a way na it's cheating? The beso beso. Um, beso beso kasi is you, you just brush your cheek mm-hmm. dun sa kabesohan mo. Parang nag cheek to cheek lang kayo. Parang nag, nagtama lang yung cheeks nyo. What about yeah. your hands? What about huh? your hands? Y- yung kamay mo. I mean, where you put them also could trigger, you know? Beso beso happens like this eh. Kunwari, nagkita kayo, nag shake hands kayo and then you beso beso. Okay, are you supposed to wrap your hands around the waist of no. let's say uh, ako wrap lalaki ako waist bakit ka lang pa wrap pe- around the waist in- I've seen people do that Okay sometimes we're sometimes not, guy put not- s- eto s- listen first sometimes guys okay. would put their hands on on the ladies uh waist or at the back I mean, sa- saan ba dapat ang kamay mo pa nagbebeso-beso ka? Um, di ba, usually nangyayari ang beso-beso kapag, um, ah, di ba, nagkita, nagkita tayo. We'll shake hands. Shake Normally, hands, guys. Lalaki. But... Uh-huh. Hindi, wait. Normally, ganyan yan, di ba, mag-shake hands tayo. What, what, ano, di ba, kanan ang pinag-shake hand mo. Mm-hmm. Right? Kanan. Um, normally, yung ka- yung kaliwang kamay ng lalaki, hindi yan sa bewang pupunta, sweetheart. Sa balikat. Hindi. Sa shake hands yan. Okay? <laughs> shake hands yan. Yan. Ayan, bi- business. Ito. Pagkikipag-shake hands ka sa babae kapag hindi kayo close. Alright? Or business. Right? Pero kung close kayo or let's say family, friends, pwede yan. Usually kasi, pag beso-beso, may kasamang hug. Right? Actually, G, I am not talking about the, ano, eh, the, the hand gestures, kung saan maglaland mm. yung kamay mo. I'm talking, mm. di ba, sabi ko nga, kissing lightly. Kissing. So, In- naka In- naka involved dyan ang mga lips mo. Oh, okay, okay. Now it's clear, okay? All right. So, yeah, <laughs> so yung continue. So, beso-beso na sinasabi mo, na parang cheeks to cheeks lang, cheek to cheek, ganyan. It's okay. Pero yung siguro yung 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 labi mo maglaland dun sa cheek niya. I mean, kung kung talagang I mean, for me, it's okay lang. It's okay kung talagang close kayo like kamag-anak, kapatid. Of course. Diba? Masisilosan mo mm-hmm. ba yung kamag-anak at kapatid? <laughs> Goodness. Hindi. Ito, yun ito. lang ang times na yung lips mo dadapo sa chicks nung other person when you're really close like family, you know. Pero normally, hindi mo ito gagawin sa acquaintances. Kung beso-beso yes. lang. Ha? Oh. Yes. Okay, so, yun so nga. Yun yung sinis- Okay. Maraming, you know, there are many possibilities for your boundaries sa mga mag-partners. But you have to think about y- your boundaries para sa sarili mo, yung boundaries ng partner mo para sa, sa sarili niya, at yung boundaries niyong dalawa for each other. So, maraming ano yan, maraming, um, pwedeng uh, what do you call this um pwede yung pagtalunan regarding this doon nagsisimula yung problema kasi kaya kailangan malinaw to yung problema magsisimula diyan kapag hindi malinaw sa both parties kung ano yung mga boundaries nila yung mga parameters uh, boundaries and parameters Alam mo okay yung, continue yung you assume na alam mo yung boundaries mo 
eh katulad ng boundaries din ng partner mo pero hindi pala so you have to define kung ano ba yung cheating para sa inyong dalawa Siyempre, hindi naman ano eh, hindi mo naman maririnig sa isang tao na I'm, you know, I'm going to cheat on my partner. Diba? Ang nangyayari dito, you just find yourself in the situation na nag-slip ka na pala across the border without you trying to do so. And once na na-realize mo na na nandun ka na at the other side, Parang feeling mo naman sa sarili mo, oh, sige, let's just make the best of it. I'll just make the best of it, diba? And you don't have to, you know, you don't have to be really, um, be on that, uh, situation, kung gusto mo. But if you have problems with cheating in the past, kailangan, um, So next uh, relationship mo, you should clarify talaga your boundaries with your partner. Of course, this cannot be enforced. Kailangan gawin nyo to willingly. And kung yung boundaries nyo sa tingin nyo magkalayo, siguro pag-usapan nyo if you're, you're willing to, to close the gap. If you think na hindi mag-work para sa'yo yung boundaries niya and yung boundaries mo hindi mag-work sa kanya, then I, I guess it's um, time to look for a more compatible matches. Like, uh, nagpatay ka ng mic, G? No, I'm here. I'm <laughs> listening. I'm taking notes. Taking notes mm-hmm. naman? Mm-hmm. Like a student listening to a teacher. Okay. And it, once you have set your boundaries and you feel good about it, there's a good chance that you'll avoid, you know, you'll avoid cheating. And if you're, if you, if you've set your boundaries at hindi kayo nag, I mean, you agree only verbally and you're not putting your heart into it, malamang yan, you know, Magkakaroon ng space for cheating. Alam mo, ang cheating, ang tukso, pumapasok yan sa nakabukas na pinto. Ang tahimik mo dyan at the other end. Ah. I'm listening, I'm taking notes because I have something to say. Okay. Here. But, boundaries are ano eh, iba-iba. Okay, nasa boundaries tayo. You know, defining what is cheating, for you and for your partner. Depende yan. Kung nasa isang committed relationship ka, mas malamang di- depende yung mga boundaries yan, iba dyan. Kung nasa open relationship ka, iba rin yung boundaries nyo dyan. Kung medyo complicated yung relationship nyo, iba din yung boundaries nyo dyan. So you have to, uh, to, to know what really works for you para makapag-decide kayo kung saan nyo ilalagay yung perspective nyo about cheating. Right, G? Yes. There should be a meeting of minds pagating sa cheating, definition of cheating. Like, People come from different backgrounds, even though people get married or they engage in a re- relationship. They come from different backgrounds, okay? Family, uh, di- different upbringing, different groups of friends, different education. So, possible mangyari na each person has or her own definition of what is cheating. And depende rin yan sa kultura kung nasaan ka, you know. Yes, definitely. The culture. Oh, yeah. For example, sa Western culture, definitely, we can say, we can say sa Western culture na mas liberal ang behavior or, and thinking ng mga tao. So, what could be cheating in the Philippines 
may not be cheating sa ibang kultura or what may be cheating in other cultures may not be cheating in the Filipino culture. So, although we are not only talking about culture, we are also talking about religious beliefs and the law. The law has its own way of dealing with cheating like adultery, concubinage, what else? Is there, is there anything I missed, Shandela? Salon? Adultery, concubinage. Concubinage, what else? Dalawa business. lang yun, di ba? <laughs> bigamy. What's that? Bigamy. Oh, bigamy. Do you know if there's a law on on bigamy in the Philippines? Yes, meron. Okay. Yan, lang, yan ang naka-apply sa lalaki. Um, concubinage and bigamy. Concubinage okay. is nakikisama ka sa akin, nakikisama ka sa kanya. Bigamy is kasal ka sa akin, kasal ka sa kanya. Yun nga lang, hindi kita pwede oh, okay. ng adultery. Ang adultery, pang babae lang sa ngayon, sa Pilipinas. Pero the last time I heard, aamyendahan yung batas na yan. So, nasa family code yan? Yes. Alam mo, meron akong kausap na lawyer. Actually, I, I can say I, I can say her name na si Attorney Marisa Mauricio Panates. Um, we will have her on board uh, soon to talk about family law because that's her uh, area of interest. So, I hope we can have her soon to answer these questions. Yes. Okay. okay so. So let's move on. Did I answer your question? Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah let's go on. <laughs> yeah. Signs of cheating, you know. Okay, what are, what are the signs of cheating? Okay. Okay. Alam mo kahit siguro anong effort ang gawin mo sa isang relationship, pwede at pwede pa rin mangyari yung cheating. Yes, of course, may control ka sa sarili mo. I mean, over your part of the commitment. But, alam, alam naman natin na you cannot control your partner. You know, your partner remains free to make his or her own choices. Including yung choice na i-violate, i-violate niya yung napag-agrihan niyo. Mostly, alam mo, G, kapag ang babae kinutuban na yung lalaking partner niya is nangangaliwa, more often than not, tama yan. You're talking Kahit, about what's called the the gut feel of women. Yeah, the yeah. women's in- intuition. Intuition, yeah. Okay. Yes. Kahit wala kang, wala kang proweba, more or less tama yan. Sometimes, malalaman mo yan eh. If, you, if you've been in a relationship with someone for a while, you will have the intuition and the logic to notice that something has changed. But sometimes, kahit nandiyan na, yung mga signs of cheating, we go into denial. Girls go into denial. We don't want to believe it's happening. You know, just to preserve the illusion of the monogamous relationship. If we pretend, we tend to pretend that everything is okay, so we try to avoid the confrontation. Pero, we're talking about the science of cheating. Ito, I'll, I'll, um, meron dito eh, mga, yung mga konting ano na, hindi mo alam na signs na pala yun. Meron naman talaga na nagsusumigaw na sa harapan mo na ito na yung senyales na ng bababae na or ng lalaki na yung kasama mo. Higher than usual phone bills. Mm. Yeah. That's one. Yung biglang from yeah, from the basic um, plan lang na ganito, biglang tumaas ang phone bills ng asawa mo or ng boyfriend mo or all of a sudden your partner won't tell you about 
his or her travels, nights out. Aha. Uh -huh. May kilala akong ganyan, no? Oh. And you catch your partner lying to you about smallest of things. Isa din yan sign. Ito pa, may isa pang sign. Your mutual friends start, you know, acting weird whenever you are around. Because they know something. And suddenly, yeah, parang ganun. Mga, mga kasabwat. Alam mo, yung mga parang, alam nung kaibigan mo na niloloko ka nung asawa mo, yun yung crucial doon eh. Alam mo, napag-iisip din ako eh. Kunwari, may kaibigan ako, alam ko niloloko siya ng asawa niya. Dapat ba sabihin ko, sa akin ba dapat manggaling bilang kaibigan? Dapat. Kung kaibigan ka talaga. Pero hindi eh. Ano mo yun? Parang, there's ano eh. Um, I have to make, you know, some readings with regards to that, ano, issue. Merong pinagtalunan na dyan eh. Kung dapat mo bang sabihin or hindi sa best friend mo, yung mga alam mo. Well, uh, I I think I know where you're coming from. Like it's kind of it's a big weight on your shoulders, right? It's, you're always carrying it, and mm -hmm. you, you you really don't know what to do. You know, like do I do I tell an elder person, like a parent, parent niya ba, o sabihin ko sa kanya derecho? Alam mo kahit na sabihin natin na oh dapat sabihin mo ganyan ganyan kasi kabigyan mo yan. It's easier said than done, unfortunately. Yeah. And parang, you know, parang, parang, sometimes ayaw mong sabihin kahit best friend mo siya kasi ayaw mong sa'yo manggaling yung bad news. Siguro ganito pwede mong gawin, Shandela, ate, uh, and, and the other listeners. You, you, you should talk to the person who's cheating, who's, who's cheating on your friend. Like, uh, ba't mo ginagawa sa kaibigan ko to, di ba? I mean, you're you're defending your friend. You know something, mm -hmm. so you talk to the person who's offending him or her, and tell them, you know, uh, you're you 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 cheating on my friend. You're you're nilalo ako masya, di ba? Tigilan mo na yan, magkano? Yeah, yeah, probably. But. It it's ano it's 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 like walking on eggshells. You, you really have to be careful and make mm -hmm. sure you really plan things out. Hindi lang yung basta ka na lang uh, lulusob sasabihin mo ganyan ganyan. You really have to find the right time, right? The right opportunity mm -hmm. to to say things. Okay, yeah, baka cool. naman so, mamaya birthday ka. Baka naman mamaya birthday ng kaibigan mo, dumo pa na pwedeng sabihin, di ba? <laughs> yeah, things like that. I mean, that's why, pick the right time to yes. tell things. Okay, some more signs. If your partner is on the computer, he or she quickly switches apps or hides windows when you walk in. Oh yeah, ginagawa yan ng mga empleyado pag dumaan yung boss. Tayo na punta sa trabaho. Hindi kasi madalas ko makita yun sa ano eh, sa sa work or di ba mad madalas na ano yan eh, may joke yan yung yung pag dumaan yung boss biglang sasarado yung Facebook pupunta sa Excel. Aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> so or <sir>, MS Word. <laughs> may ano eh, may panic button na ko eh. <laughs> <laughs> alam mo meron na software na ginawa dyan eh yung alam mo ba nasa office ka nag, nag sa solitaire ka or <laughs> nag to twitter ka or facebook at the press of a button you can switch to like a document or excel a spreadsheet <laughs> okay huwag okay, tayo sabi nga nila yeah, ano ba yung ano kasabihan na yun Necessity is the mother of invention. Something something like that. Anyway, going back to your topic. Okay. Yeah, okay. Your partner shows sudden changes in sex pattern. No, no. I'm talking about... It's computer. It's switch ng Windows. Hindi, 
Tapos na ako doon eh. Di ba? Tinapos mo na. Kasi nap- napunta sa office yung usapan eh. You might be <laughs> trying to say something else. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, na sige. If your partner is on the computer, biglang um makikita mo bago ka ano, bago ka du- bago ka pumasok ng room or bago ka lumapit sa kanya. Parang si sense mo na may kausap siya at gumingiti-ngiti pa siya. Tapos biglang pagpasok mo, biglang nagseryoso at makikita mo iba na yung nasa screen niya. Mm. Tapos alam mo yung mga tingin na patagilid? Yung, mm-hmm. alam mo yun? Yung mga ganon? <laughs> yung, uh, alam mo naman yung mga taong naglolo ko, mga praning yan eh. <laughs> mga praning, okay. <laughs> Oo. Oh, mga praning yan. Yung tipong defensive pa yung mga yan. Siya na nga naglolo ko. Ibabato pa sa'yo yung ano. Baka naman ikaw ay nagchichit. Ganyan. Shandala, What? for the benefit of our listeners na hindi kabisado ang mga street lingo, ano ba yung praning? What's praning? Paranoid. Praning is paranoid. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Ano may mga dudero't dudera? Mm-hmm. Hindi. Hindi sila yung dudera. Sila yung defensive. I mean, paranoid on both sides. You can be paranoid in a sense na it's trying to hide something. Pwede ka rin paranoid na lahat may duda ka, di ba? Kaya nga, dudero't dudera. Ano pa ba yung sinabi ko? Gusto mo pa English? Hindi. I'm just trying to <laughs> define paranoid on both sides of the fence. You may tinatago at yung isa naman eh tamang duda. Yun nga. Dudero. Hmm. Dudera. O, ano pa nga? Hmm. Wala okay. na. Ikaw na. <laughs> <laughs> okay, next item <laughs> Ito na Your partner shows sudden changes in sex patterns Yung bigla na lang Alam mo yon yung bigla na lang gusto niya Gabi-gabi Or kaya biglang ayaw na lang niya Or bigla oh, na lang Oh, extremes uh-huh. Oo, Or bigla na lang yung may pinapagawa siya sa yung bago May sinusubukan oh. bagong technique Bagong posisyon Naku. Naku. Diba? Or kaya bigla-bigla, ibibili ka ng lingerie. <laughs> na talagang... Mo na, mas- masama bang gawin yun? Hindi, naman, kasi... No? Kasi siya Masa pala... praning naman. Sa part mo, like, siguro, oh, it's a welcome change, you know? You want the steamy hot sex. Pero, if you look at it, parang, bakit? What happened? but biglang ganito? So, pumasok na yung pagkapraning mo. Ibig sabihin, hindi pwedeng magkaroon ng bago. Kasi, baka sabihin, santo na pulot, gano'n? Eh, hindi. Kunwari, ganito yung sitwasyon eh. Kunwari, mag-asawa tayo. Oh. Alam mo yon naligo na ako at lahat. Naka-plunging neckline na ako. Naka-lace, naka-satin. Tapos, ang bagong-bagong ko. Ang ganda-ganda ko. Alam mo yung, yung, I'll just toss my hair, ganyan. Looking really seductive. Tapos pagpasok ko sa kwarto, naghihilig ka na. <laughs> eh kasi naman, halimbawa, dalawang oras mong ginagawa yung papapaganda, hindi eh, talaga makatulog <laughs> na lalaki. Siyempre, prior to that, nagpaparamdam na ako, diba? Ah, okay. That your, so that's a sign of cheating. Computer. Na pag hindi interesado yung lalaki sa... Hindi, hindi, hindi. Huwag ka munang magulo, G. Huwag ka munang okay. don't cut my line, okay? Ganto. Okay, okay. Nasanay ako na gano'n tayo. Natatanggihan mo ko. Na almost lagi mo kong tinatanggihan. Nagsisex lang tayo kapag gusto mo. Hindi tayo nakakapag-sex pag ako lang yung may gusto. So gano'n yung setup natin for the longest time. Tapos biglang-bigla, ito ka. Hey, honey, I bought you something. Look, I want you to wear this tonight. Biglang, oh my mm. God. Tapos biglang biglang may papagawa ka sa akin. You know, na dati naman you find it disgusting. Tapos ngayon you want to try it? Okay, I think that's a valid point. Na um, there might be a trigger that was responsible for that. Like what triggered that, right? Yes. Mm-hmm. Okay, I get your point. 
That could be valid, but not in all cases. Okay, so next is um, unexplained um, condoms, birth control, underwear. Oh, that's obvious, yes. Obvious, yeah. Yung biglang, dati naman, you don't use condoms, walang birth control, or kaya hindi siya, ano yung matawag sa mga gamot na, like the Viagra, how do you call that? Uh, Sex stimulating drugs, kanyan? Anti, ano, impotence. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't know what to call them. I just call them anti-impotence. <laughs> Impotence. Impotent agad? Hindi ba pwedeng ano lang? Hindi, Viagra is for impotence. Oo, oh, 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 sige, wag na Viagra. Kunwari mga bigla na lang uminom ng mga energy drink, yung mga, mga drink na yung mga may tsaan na may mga tongkat ali, may mga kung ano-ano, yung may mga ginseng, ah, okay. yung mga, yung mga ganyan. Yeah. <laughs> yung pampalakas ng, ano, ng uh, male uh, vigor. Aha. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, tapos so sign yan. Sign yeah, ba yan? It could be sign. Tapos dati yung partner mo ang ang underwear lang niya, lahat puti. Biglang may pulat, mm-hmm. lang may itim. Alam mo ako naniniwala ako, G. Mm-hmm. Ang babae, teenager, halimbawa, okay. ang panty okay. niya blue, pink, white, yellow. Okay. Bihirang bihira ka makakakita ng itim. I believe ang babae nagpapanty ng itim at pula kapag naging sexually active na sila. Oh, okay. I get it. Alright. I don't Kasi, even know that, but I'll accept that. Coming from you. Coming from me? <laughs> no, because uh, you, you're you a female. I'm a male. I don't even know that. Okay. Kasi ginawa ko rin yan. Sabay ganun eh, no? Oo. Ganun talaga. Parang, parang the color red and, you know, uh, Black is really enticing. So, ang, ang sinasabi mo, kapag ang babae o lalaki ay eh, biglang nag-ayos in a sexy way or, or uminom ng mga gamot na pampa-enhance ng sexuality or, or physical vigor, uh-huh. these are signs of cheating? Could be. If they're not used on you. Hindi rin. Halimbawa. Like, kunwari. Ito ha, ito, ito. ito. Sandali, let, let me just speak, okay? Okay. You found condoms on your husband's or boyfriend's wallet. Uh-huh. At hindi naman kayo nagka-condom. Mm-hmm. That's an obvious sign. Yes. Right? Yes. If you, if your, halimbawa, if your husband or your boyfriend has be- begun taking uh, male enhancement pills okay and you barely and you barely do it uh-huh is that is that a sign of cheating na maybe ginagawa ginagawa niya for some somebody else yes and if your wife or a girlfriend suddenly buys this uh, fun- fancy uh, underwear and you know at hindi naman niya pinapakita sa iyo pag nakasuot. Aha. Uh-huh. It means ginagawa niya yan for somebody else. Dito medyo ano ako dito. Kasi alam mo ang babae. Mhm. Um yung yung underwear namin, the bra and the panty, whatever we we were underneath our clothes. Mhm. Minsan talaga ng ano yan eh, parang hindi naman yun nakikita ng tao kung ano yung suot mo. Uh-huh. Kung sexy ba yan or what. Pero may kinalaman yung underwear namin para ma- ma-feel namin na sexy kami. Oh, I get you. So, it's the female psychology? Yes. That men don't understand, right? Mm-hmm. So, hindi naman talaga nyo dinidisplay pero in your mind, alam nyo na it's there. Yes. Okay, I get you. So, hindi naman ibig sabihin na pag ang babae ay nagsimulang gumamit ng mga sexy lingerie at hindi naman pinapakita sa'yo na ikaw ang asawa niya or boyfriend. 
Mm-hmm. Hindi ibig sabihin niyan eh naglaloko siya. Ang sabi mo nga sa mga female, sometimes they do that just to feel sexy. Yes. I get you. Okay, that's very clear. Okay. You're the expert. <laughs> okay. Okay. So, next item. So, so nandun tayo sa condom, di ba? Tapos, yes. yung supply niyo ng condom, daling maubos. Eh, hindi naman kayo nagsisex. Kung oh, that's a giveaway. Naman. That's what we call a dead giveaway. Mm-hmm. Hindi, pwede naman yung sabihin niya kasi hiningi ni G eh. Oh, ginagawa pang dahilan yung barkada, no? Mm-hmm. Oh. Ito, sa- sabihin mo nun, ba't, ba't di siya bumili sa sarili niya? Ba't mo bumibigyan? Oh. <coughs> eh, wala eh. Alam mo, yung mga, yung mga palusot na nalaki, ganyan eh. Hindi, sabihin, oh, yun, sabihin nila lang, hindi, nagkapiglaan, yan lang, papilin ko pa eh, ayun na, nandun na. Asus! <laughs> Batukan mo. <laughs> Pectos. Pekusin mo. Okay. Sabihin mo, sa presinto ka magpaliwanag. Okay, next. Your partner becomes more emotionally distant. Emotionally distant? Yes, and communicate um, less often or less deeply. That's also a sign, possible sign of cheating. I agree with you. Mm-hmm. Yung tipong hindi na kayo nag-uusap. Meron nga akong kaibigan eh. Sabi niya, alam mo kami, kami mag-asawa, hindi kami nag-aaway. Sabi ko, oh talaga. Talagang hindi kayo mag-aaway. Kasi hindi naman kayo nag-uusap. Oh, totoo yan. <laughs> diba? Ano Kasi walang communication. Hindi nga kayo nag-uusap eh. So, huwag mo ipagmalaki sa akin na hindi kayo nag-aaway. Hmm. When you stop caring, you stop fighting. Y- you stop fighting kasi you don't bother anymore eh. Wala ka nang pakialam eh. Kahit anong yes. gawin nung isa, di ba? Ano ba? Uh, boyfriend, girlfriend. The the guy is cheating and is less concerned with the girl. So, yes. yung mga dating ginagawa ng girl na na ano siya, na simula ng away, hindi na niya pinapansin. Pinapalagpasa lang niya. Kasi, wala na siyang attention dun sa girlfriend niya. Yeah. Or sa boyfriend. Parang, right? parang it's a subtle way of saying na, hindi nga kita pinakikailaman, wag mo din akong pakailaman. Oh, oh. Good, good. Okay. Next item. Your partner runs errands that seem to take much longer than they should. Oh. Yung mga... <laughs> alam mo... Nagtapon lang ng basura. Inaabot ang tatlong oras sa labas. <laughs> Nagtapon lang ng basura. <laughs> yes. Sabi mo, ba't ang tagal mo? Hinintay ko kasi yung tuwa. <laughs> hinintay mo talaga? Ano, hinintay mong umikot muna ng buong subdivision? <laughs> diba? Yung mga ganun? Or yung kung... Kaya yung pupunta lang sa... Uh, ano ba? Pupuntahan yung mga hardware o ano. Tapos limang oras. <laughs> Pumili ng limang pirasong pako. Inabot ng sampung oras. <laughs> mga ganyan. Yung mga... Ako, yung mga lalaki talaga na yan. Ako! Hindi lang lalaki. Pati, pati babae. <laughs> Halimbawa, <laughs> sasabihin na... Uh, pupunta ng palengke. Uh-huh. Umabot ng tanghali. Yan pala... <laughs> Dinaanan yung matador. <laughs> Hindi, alam mo, G, seriously speaking, oh, sige. in a relationship, mas malaki yung posibilidad na magloko ang lalaki. Kung naglolo ko well, man... can you... Ito, ha? Can you again lang, wait back lang, it up wait, wait with lang. statistics? Wait lang. Okay. Kung magloko man ang babae, most likely gumaganti yan. Pag ang babae nagloko, gumaganti. Most likely, gumaganti Most yan. Most likely. Doon sa cheating partner niya. Okay. Okay. Yung parang naka, naka ano na siya, naka, nakakita siya bigla ng lalaki na mas maganda yung tingin sa kanya kesa doon sa asawa niya. Well, 
Alam mo? Humanap ka lang ng excuse na mag-cheat eh. So, cheating ka rin. Mm-hmm. Kaya nga. Oh. Pero, lalaki mauuna. <laughs> well, I don't have the numbers to even oppose that or say that it's not true. Pero, I don't know, unless we get really some reactions from men about this episode or your or your statements, I can only say yes. You know? Okay. Para <laughs> napilitan ka naman doon. Well, without any backing of empirical evidence to counter your statement, I can only agree in silence. Okay. <laughs> Para man lawyer. Okay. Next? Next. Your partner seems to be withdrawing more cash from the ATM than usual and you can't discern where it's going. Ayan. Uh-huh. Biglang ang dami niyong withdrawals. Kasi nga naman, pag cash ang ginagamit niya, di ba, hindi mo matitrace yun eh. Kumpara dun sa credit card mm-hmm. or debit card, di ba? Kasi pag debit card, credit card, naka ano yan eh. Naka statement yan, di ba? Oh, and... Kung, saan, kung ano binili, saan binili. Anong oras. Um, anong oras. And in connection with that, tinatago din yung mga credit card statements. Oo. Oh. Mga bills. Mm-hmm. Inaabangan yung mailman, no? <laughs> yes, or kaya biglang nagpago ng ano, delivery address. Kung dati sa bahay, oh. biglang sa office na. Mm-hmm. Di ba? Yung mga babae talaga, no? Ang ginagawa nila para lang mag-cheat, eh, no? Inaabangan yung mailman. <laughs> Hoy, ginagawa namin yung para manghuli. Hindi <laughs> <laughs> para mag-cheat. Okay. <laughs> Ito pa. Um... Yung partner mo laging out of town for business. Hindi naman na-promote, hindi naman na-transport. Wala naman bagong project. Lagi na lang nasa travel. You know? E, e like, kung biyahero siya eh. Ano ba? Biyahero ng isda. O gulay. Ano ba naman? That's ano naman. Talagang given na yun. Biyahero nga eh. <laughs> Dinaig pa si FBR sa pagka ano, most traveled president ng Pilipinas. Lagi na lang nasa biyahe. Ito guys ha. Career tip lang. The best na career, biyahero ng isda o gulay. Why? Kasi na, pwede ka magbiyahe without even explaining where you are. <laughs> okay. <laughs> pwede ka umalis na madaling araw, alas tres, alas dos. Nag- Kasi magbiyahe ka ng isda at saka gulay. Pero siguraduhin mo, may kita ka. Kasi pag wala kang kita, ibig sabihin, di ba ang binabiyahe mo? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, tama ka dyan. Yes. Okay, next. Your partner dresses nicer than usual when going out. Nagpapaganda, nagpapagwapo. Oh, dati yung sinasabi mo, magbihis ka naman. Hindi, okay na to. Diyan lang naman ako pupunta. Aba mm-hmm. ngayon, naka-white, naka-white polo. Long sleeves pa. Nasa backyard lang. <laughs> hoy, hoy, teka, teka. Parang... Parang ako yun na ah, yung naka-white sleeves, long, long sleeves na nasa bakya. Alam mo? Okay. Inaaway mo ba ako? Ha? Hindi ah, hindi kita ini-involve. O bakit naman gano'n example mo, naka-white pa? Eh, in- o, wala lang, naisip ko lang. Bakit? White, basic color. <laughs> anyway, alam mo, hindi reliable yan. Yung piglang pagpapaganda or pagpapagwapo. Kasi... Sometimes may mga late bloomers na babae, di ba? Yung mga dating tinatawag, tinatawag natin cowboy, yung plain jeans, plain shirts, or sa mga babae naman, yung plain Jane. Mm-hmm. Tapos biglang magbo-bloom. No? Magbigla mag-aayos, mag-makeup. Sa mga lalaki naman, biglang magiging conscious sa buhok, yes. sa forma. Hindi, re- hindi reliable yan na sign. Mga posible nga eh. Posible. Okay. okay, posible. Pero hindi siya 100%. Okay. 
foolproof. Okay. Before we continue, G, I would like to just acknowledge the people in the chat box. There's oh, Penta, okay. there's Tonsi, there's Tru, and guess 120. Wow, and daming chat, tao sa chat box, ah. And my friends are like texting me now. Okay. Dexter is listening. Hi, Dexter. Anong sabi Bench. ng friends mo? Huh? Anong sabi ng friends? Sabi niya, sabi niya, Kat, dahan-dahan. Huwag mo kami tirahin. Hmm, yan. Sabi ko sa'yo, eh. <laughs> okay. Next. Alam mo, bukas marami ka ng kaaway. Ay, hindi yan. Okay, hindi yan. Next item. Yung partner okay, mo... Okay, next item. Yung partner mo biglang gusto mag-gym. I wanna get in shape. Biglang ganon. Mag-gym lang, cheating na? Possibly nga. I mean, diba? Kung dati talagang couch potato siya, ni hindi mo hindi mo mapaglahat, pupunta lang dun sa kapilang kanto, magkokotse pa, magmumotor pa. Aba ngayon, naglalakad ng sampung kilometro just to get away from you. Nagpapalaki ng muscle, nagpapaliit ng baywang sa babae. Oh. Cheating na ba yun? Posible. May pinaghahandaan siya. Eh di mas maganda pala, malaki yung chan ko para hindi ako makakusahan ng cheating. <laughs> hindi, kung nakilala ka naman ng partner mo na noon pa, per se, malaki na yan chan mo, diba? O. Oh. O, oh, tapos bigla ako nag, uh, nagkaroon ng six-pack abs. Cheating na ako noon? <laughs> Posible nga. <laughs> Bakit? Ikaw ang nagsabi. Oh my God. Mahirap pala maging fit and fit ngayon. Cheater ka na. <laughs> okay. Next. Hindi. Ta- wag kita tawa. Seryoso ako. Next na. <laughs> Kasi, malaking chan ko, right? I mean, to- sa totoong buhay, malaking chan ko. Sa to- All right? Bakit teleserye ba ito? Hindi kasi sa Facebook pictures, pinapaliit ko lang. Pero, sa totoong buhay, malaking chan ko. Okay. Ngayon, gusto ko itong palitin. Gusto ko magkaroon ng six-pack abs. It's too Kupita late for time. It's too late. Hindi, hindi pa to eh. Anyway, huwag kang magulo. <laughs> Ang sasabi ko, okay. magkakaroon ako ng six-pack abs. Uh-huh. This will become a reality. Okay? Mm-hmm. Wow! Watch okay. out. I'm gonna have six-pack abs. Post mo yan ah, sa FB. So, ah. ibig sabihin, cheater na ako? Pus- hindi sinasabing that... cheater ka na outright. Pusible na isa yan sa mga signs. Okay, kung halimbawa ako yung asawa mo, ang laki ng chan mo, all of a sudden, you wanna go to the gym and magkaroon ka ng six-pack abs, okay, siguro you just wanna get fit. Okay? Oh, yeah. The ball. Okay. Diba? Pwede. Pwede. Diba? Parang kahit na siguro yung may intuition ako na bakit biglang gusto niyang gumawa po at magmukhang bata. Okay. Denial stage. Hindi. Hindi yan. Nagpapano lang yan. I just wanna get fit kasi he's getting older. Naturally. Diba? I wanna get Kaya fit. Kaya ka posible. Okay. Okay. May tanong ako sa'yo. What? <laughs> How many of these signs do you need to have to make a, um, a strong grounds to conclude that your partner is cheating? Ilan ang kailangan mo sa mga nilista mo? Depende nga yan kung ano yung mga sinet yung boundaries. Kung ano yung mga napag-usapan nyo. Okay. Like, kunwari, ito, next item. You catch your partner using their cell phones in ad locations, like, like in the backyard or in the garage. Yung magkaharap kayo, nag-ring yung phone, tumakbo pa dun sa garahe para sagutin ang telepono. Eh ako, tatakbo ko ng garahe kung talagang dada ka ng dada dyan, di ka ma- matahimik. <laughs> ano ba, tumawag yung boss ko. Okay. Ikaw, bla, 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 bla. Pupunta ako ng garahe. Para, tumawag yung kliyente ko, okay? 
Uh-huh. Tapos tahol na tahol yung aso. Siyempre, pupunta ako ng garay or talabas ako para sagutin niya. In the wee hours of the night or the morning? What? What? Sa kadagitnaan ng, ng gabi? Uh, i- ibang usapan yun kapag madaling araw. Aha. Uh-huh. And ito pa? Kung madaling araw yung tawag, hmm. lalabas ka para hindi magising yung kasama mo sa kwarto. Hindi may, ba dapat, may valid reason hindi ba dapat magstay ka na lang sa kwarto para hindi bigyan ng ibang kulay ng asawa mo? Alam mo, so, sobrang defensive naman yun eh. <laughs> Kung wala ka naman tinatago, ba't mo gagawin yun, di ba? <laughs> ang, ang normal na behavior ganito, pag may tumawag na madaling araw and it's a valid call, you need to take the call. Go to the kitchen or living room, doon mo sagutin. Right? Okay. Uh, since we're talking about cell phones, kung dati yung cell phones mo, pahaya-haya lang dyan, ngayon may security na. Mm, yeah, At kahit saan ka magpunta, dala mo sa CR, dala mo sa kusina, alam mo yon hindi na binibitawan ng cell phone. At naka-silent pa. Mm-hmm. Ayan, magandang tip yan, guys, ha? Yan. Mm-hmm. Galing kay Shandela. Isang espia. <laughs> Tapos, minsan, yung mga passwords mo sa email mo na dati naman na-access ng partner mo, yung mga uh, social accounts mo, bigla nag-iba ng password. Mm-hmm. Diba? Yan yung mga signs na pwede. Na... Pero ako, ano, ito ako ah. Um, I'm a web developer professional web developer and site administrator. Itong lagi kong pinapoint out, ano, hindi mo pwedeng i-share ang email, gmail, at facebook passwords mo. It's against the rules of Facebook. It's the terms of use to share your passwords. Oh, so you yan. Hindi sa akin to. Sa Facebook Terms of Use, bawal. Hindi mo pwedeng gamitin yung katwiran na yan, Terms of Use ng Facebook or ng fucking Twitter or kung ano pa na. Hindi ko pwedeng i-share yung... Hindi ko pwedeng i-share sa'yo yung password ko kasi hindi pwede, sabi ng Facebook. Hindi mo pwedeng ikatwiran yung sa asawa mo, no? Come on, get real, G. Get real. Pwede. Eh, wala akong pakialam sa Facebook Terms of Use na yan. Diba? Okay, wala akong pakialam yan. Yung password mo, kanya. <laughs> Ganun talaga. <laughs> Pero, oh, hindi ako ganun. I mean, wala akong pakialam dyan sa password mo, okay? Wala akong pakialam dyan. Saksak mo na sa lamunan mo kung gusto mo. <laughs> Galit. Pero, Galit. Kung, kung ibibigay mo sa Pero to, seryoso ah. Seryoso. Uh. Don't share your, your, no, your passwords. At saka hindi rin naman ako nang hihingi ng mga password na yan. Yes, Kasi okay. ayaw ko rin hingin sa akin yung password ko. Pwede kong yes. ibigay. Pero, you know, yes. no, kung pipilit mo ko na ayaw ko, eh, pasensya. Yes. Pasensya tayo. Pagdating sa privacy talaga, importante. Kasi alam mo, I, I cannot advise otherwise, okay? Because I, I own websites, I operate websites, and one of my conditions when using my my websites if you're a member do not share your passwords that's it no ifs and buts mhm mhm alam mo there's ano eh merong when somebody asks for my password that's an insult on me why are you asking for my password yes that's insult insulting alam sa akin yan naman ganito oh. eh para ma- ma- matansya ko or malama ko kung talaga pinagkakatiwalaan ako ng partner ko. Kunwari, hina- hinihi niya sa akin yung password. Binigay ko. Ibibigay ko maling password. Siyempre, hindi naman yung malalaman na mali yun or tama yun kung hindi niya susubukan, right? Ah, uh, yeah, right. So, pag bumalik yan sa akin at sinabi, mali naman yung password na binigay mo sa akin eh. So, ibig sabihin, sinubukan niyang buksan. So, ibig sabihin, hindi siya nagtatrust sa akin. 
Yeah, that's a good way. Okay. Ako, even if you give me your email password, Facebook password, I won't open it. Not, not, mm-hmm. I won't open it. No matter how tempting? No matter how tempting, I won't open it. That's no matter private na, property. Uh, kahit na may sinasabi sa yung intuition mo, buksan mo, dati buksan mo, baka may mabasa ka. No, I eh, will get a lawyer. Um, I will get a legal um, uh, no, legal order to do that. Not on my own. Oh, come on. That is idealistic, but hindi yan ang realistic. You know what? Okay. I'm, I told you, I'm a professional web developer, website owner, and I cannot advise otherwise. You can, you can, you can, like, um, apply that to your clients, to your business associates, but not with your partner. I'm sure kapag na, pag na, mas nauna yung emotions mo sa'yo, I'm sure, gagawin mo rin yan. No, there's no excuse for violating somebody's privacy. Okay, what? ever suit yourself next yes next next host your, par- your partner <laughs> incorrectly remember gifts na binigay niya sa'yo na hindi mo naman na-receive ah, pakiulit sandala hindi ko narinig your partner incorrectly remembers gifts na binigay niya sa'yo na hindi mo naman na-receive Ah, yung mga sleep yung pala account. Oo, oh, oh, yung pala sa, sa kabila niya nabigay. Mm. Parang si ano, may kinala akong lalaki, politiko na involved din ngayon sa pork barrel scam. Okay. Sasabihin ko pa pangalan, wag na. So, ganito. <clears throat> Bagong labas yung ano, fortuner at that time. So, para hindi siya maguluhan, bumili siya ng dalawa. Parehong kulay, parehong model. Parehong wow. for on the same date. Isa para kay misis, isa para kay Kula Sisi. So, parehong kotse, brand, kulay. Mm-hmm. Date of parehong delivery. date of purchase, date Uh-oh. of delivery. Oo, hmm. pareho. Laging pareho yon Kapag may bagong relo si Mrs., for sure may bagong relo si Kula Sisi. What's the reason for that? Para hindi siya maguluhan. Mm. Para siguro ano na rin, uh, less guilt. May pagka James Bond itong si ano no? Ano congressman ba yan, mayor? Senador. Senador? Oo. Oh. Oo. Uh-huh. James Bond? Bakit James Bond? Mata, mat, ano siya? Matalino eh. Wise. <laughs> Wise. Oh. Sabihin, naisip pa niya yun? <laughs> Oo, oh, oh, naisip pa niya yun. Talaga. Parang yun sa My Husband's Lover. Okay, ano yun? Yung, yung teleserye dito sa Pilipinas, yung about yung dalawang gays na nagkain, na nasa relasyon, pero yung mm-hmm. isa is may asawang babae. Si Gay Lover, binigyan niya si lover niya ng watch. Ang ginawa ni Gay Lover, binigy- binili rin niya ng relo yung asawa ni lalaki na boyfriend niya. Para daw hindi magtaka. Oh. So, ang dumalabas ngayon, si asawa ang bumili nun, partner na relo. ba diba? Hindi ko, hindi ko na-follow. Parang magulo eh. Pakipaliwanag mo. Pakihiyan mo ulit. Kwento mo ulit. Kanari, uh, mag-asawa tayo. May hindi, lab- yung sa ano, husband's lover. Yun nga. Yung Ito gay. Mas, parang mas maintindihan mo, mag-asawa, mag-asawa tayo. So, bakla ka muna ngayon, G, ah. Mag-asawa tayo. <laughs> bakla muna. O, oh, sige. sige. Okay. <laughs> mag-asawa tayo. May lover ka, bakla. Kasi bakla ka din. Okay? Mm, okay. Yung lover mo, binili ka ng relo. Tapos sabi niya, okay. ay wait, wait, wait babe, may partner yan. O, bigay mo kay Shandela para hindi siya magduda. Mm. 
Mm. Para nalabas na bu- ikaw ang bumili ng relo, partner kayo. Oh, okay. See? So, yun ang nangyari sa husband's lover? Oo. Ano nangyari sa husband's lover pagkatapos nun? Actually, hindi ko na siya nasubaybayan simula nung mag-podcast ako. <laughs> Kawawa ka naman. Oo. Dahil sa podcast, hindi ka nanonood ng TV? Oo. Sa totoo lang. <laughs> Balita na lang yung napapanood ko. Yung early evening news sa yung late night. Pero maganda yan, alam mo. It's good for your health. Kasi when you watch TV, you you tend to eat a lot of junk food eh. Ay kahit eh, pag-podcast, naman. Pag-podcast, nagsasalita ka, hindi ka pwedeng kumain. Pero kumakain ka pa rin. Oo, oh, kahit kita, pa eh. nagpa-podcast ako, kumakain ako eh. <laughs> Pero hindi nga lang ka doon, kadaming kinakain mo. Kumpara sa nasa harap ka ng TV, lamang ka na lamang ng chocolate saka chips. di ba? <laughs> Hmm. So, podcasting is good for your health. Uh, And for my electric bills. Yeah, tipid sa kuryente yung podcast. <laughs> oh, so, yun na. Napag-usapan na natin yan, right? Um, dun sa mga kakikinig lang, we're talking about cheating. We have um, defined cheating already. And defining the boundaries And we are discussing now yung signs of cheating. And let's... Wait, Chandela. What? Wait. Also, let's remind them. They're listening to PanayPodcast.com. G and Chandela Show. It's G and Chandela G- Yeah, G and Chandela podcast. Show every, every day. Mondays through Fridays. The oras is not very... <laughs> Hindi fixed ang oras. <laughs> But say it's around 8.30 to 9.00. Bahala na kayo. No, it's 8 to 9.00. 8 to 9.00. 8 to 9.00 pa rin. Kung matempohan nyo, good. Kung hindi, sorry. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's move on. Okay. Um, we're almost... We're over an hour in our episode. And so, maybe it's about time to close it. Wait, you have to deal first with cheating. How do you deal with that? Okay, good. So, go. Bala ka. Ikaw. How do you deal with cheating? Well, if you're the cheater, obviously, you have to stop doing it. Alright? Okay. And, ano mo, nasan ba yung, ano ko, yung website na pinupuntaan ko? Ayan. Ito, ha? Akala nyo, cheating is doing something, alright? Like, you know, making out or dating somebody else or being physically intimate with somebody else. Do you know that in the Bible, Matthew 5.28, it says, But I say, anyone who even looks at a woman with lust in his eye has already committed adultery with her in his heart. So, pag ikaw, tumingin ka lang sa babae o sa lalaki at meron kang last nag-cheat ka na mm-hmm. sa partner mo. Yes. So, yung, yung mata mo lang pwede na magkasala. Okay. Kung meron kang pagtingin na last. May kasama? Like, imagine. Ha? Yung last, yung may kasamang? Kasamang pag-imagine. Alam mo yon yung umiikot yung utak mo, yung what, what if. Oh, pag, pag, uh, pag, Tinignan you know? mo yung isang babae na may kasamang pagnanasa. Ayun, pagnanasa. Yung, diba, yung tumitingin ka sa mga body parts niya na may konting, uh, you know, pagnanasa. Cheating na yan. Kung meron kang partner, okay? Mm-hmm. Kung wala kang partner, hindi naman cheating yan. Kasi, di ba? Mm-hmm. Sino bang si-cheat mo? Yung aso mo. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Alright, so, if you are a cheater, stop and Remember that uh, even having lust in your eye on another person is... G, wait! Because, wait! Yes. Sige, continue talking. Naiihi ako eh. Wait lang ah. Eh, okay. Okay, medyo na-distract ako doon. Sorry. I didn't expect her to say that. <laughs> Alright, so... <clears throat> yeah, if you're doing it, 
definitely um, you know go back and think things over and consider your options if you're cheating do you want to go on with it and you know break away from your current relationship and just go with the person you're you're having an affair with or do you want to to cut the affair and make your current relationship stronger if you are on the other end of a cheating of an um, unfaithful relationship kung kayo yung dinadaya it's hard you know just take note of the signs be watchful without being too paranoid na minsan kasi yung sinasabi ni Chandela na women's intuition or gut feel or even hindi sa women kahit sa men meron din kami mga gut feel minsan kasi nakaka-damage yan eh no? wala namang ginagawa yung other party pero sa sobrang paranoid mo yung suspiciousness pwede ma-damage yung relationship nyo and that could even push the other person to look for somewhere else but it's not an excuse okay there's no good excuse for cheating even if in apika or hinaharas ka ng partner mo there's no excuse for cheating it's either you break away from your current relationship and go to another one all right okay so definitely avoid cheating if you can just um talk things over with your partner if you're having problems and if you're a victim of a cheater Learn to forgive and forget, but make sure that the other party is uh, doing something to fix, to fix uh, wh- whatever that was damaged, and also to stop doing doing it, doing the the cheating. And so that's my ending statement. Okay. So what's yours, Chandela? What's, okay. What what what's on your list of things that people can do to? to what to deal with it and how to solve it what okay so what's, what's your third third segment how to deal with cheating okay yes okay all right. if you find yourself in this situation you know um sabi mo kanina ikaw you focus more than sa cheater yeah stop right mm-hmm ako, I'll focus doon sa niloloko. Okay. Kung makikita mo yung sarili mo sa ganitong sitwasyon, you take responsibility for it. Huwag mong sisihin yung nanloloko sa'yo. Why? Because ikaw ang pumili sa tao na yan para maging partner mo. More or less, bago nyo sinimulan ang relasyon na yan, nakakita ka na ng mga warning signs. Dinisregard mo lang. Dahil mas vinalyo mo yung mga factors na nakita mo sa kanya na posibleng makapagbigay sa'yo ng happiness. Hindi ko naman sinasabi na sisihin mo yung sarili mo. You know, or you have to be, you need not to become paranoid na nangyayari ito. What I'm saying is, you have to take responsibility para dun sa role mo in the situation. Consider mo na lang yung mga lessons na pwede mong matutunan. Kung kaya mong tanggapin na niloko ka niya, forgive him or forgive her, then move on. You know, lessons in life should make you better, not bitter. And you have to acknowledge ng ibang tao, meron din silang ibang options for connections. You know, rather than saying this is a problem, see this as an opportunity to expand your experience of love you know realize that you have other options and also acknowledge 
the change is the only constant thing in this world. Pwede ka magbago, pwede siyang magbago, pwede kayong pareho magbago. You know, everyone is unique. Lahat tayo magkakaiba. Yung monogamous relationship, pwedeng, you know, mag-work yan sa ibang tao, pwedeng sa inyo, hindi. Ang masasabi ko lang, if nasa ganito kang relationship, sabi nga ni Bob Ong, and to quote him, hindi ka naman manlalamig sa dati mo kung wala kang pinag-iinitang bago. So this, this happenings in your life, especially cheating, will teach you lessons about yourself. Lessons that you will learn even those that end in heartbreak. So that's my piece, G. Thank you, Shandela. Very well said. And we both said our piece. And this turned out to be a he said and she said episode. Mm-hmm. Would you agree? <laughs> yes. Yeah. And and you were like, like telling me before we go on. I'm not ready. I don't want to talk about cheating. Oh my God. I am not going to be involved with this. Yes, because this is supposed to be an episode with you and Janice. I wasn't prepared for this episode. Okay. Or you just want to <laughs> be, you just don't want to be, you know, put on the hot seat. Put on the spot. <laughs> Well, now, I mean, it's always like that, you know? When we're on an episode, I feel like, oh, this topic is tough. Or maybe I don't have any knowledge on this. And then you know what happens? Uh-huh. When I'm in that episode, na, I, be- I begin talking, you know? Oh, mas madaladal ka pa sa akin. Which means, there is nothing you cannot talk about. So, uh-huh. even you yourself... Your listener to this episode. If you think na wala akong masasabi dyan, wala akong alam dyan, no. You have something to say. So guys, join us again and join us in our live chat box. We do acknowledge our live audience. Sometimes we, we read your messages and right now I'm gonna do that. Mm-hmm. Guess 120 said, no matter how common it may be, therefore avoid cheating. By doing so, you will preserve your good relationship with others and most important, with God. Mm-hmm. So see, everybody has his own or her own say on things and we respect everybody, all viewpoints, all opinions. And thank you for the excellent handling of the topic, Shandala. Mm-hmm. And thank you for our live audience. Yes. Would you like to invite them tomorrow? Tomorrow is Thursday, right? Supposedly, it's the Science of the Times show with Ka Nelson, but I guess that was already pre-recorded. Yeah, we had the recording last night. So let's Ka talk Nelson. about something light tomorrow. Yeah, let's talk about something light, like maybe uh, how to make paper dolls. Would you like that, guys? How to, make pa- paper dolls. How to make paper dolls? Crafting? Pwede, siguro, pwede pa ako paano gumawa ng saranggola. Alam ko yan, paper dolls, hindi talaga. O sige, uh, how to make saranggola? <laughs> the G and Shandala way. Okay? Ganun. Okay, guys. Tomorrow, we're gonna talk about how to make saranggola or serious? kites. Yeah. Okay. Alam mo, may naisip ako. No, no. Tomorrow we'll be talking how to make saranggola. Alam mo yung 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 paggawa ng saranggola step by step. Yung pag So video? Ha? Huh? No, no. Gagawa ka na bi- ka muna, makinig ka muna. Yung okay. paggawa mo ng saranggola step by step, yung paggawa mo ng materials, kung gaano to kalaki, kung gaano to kabigat, kung anong kulay nito, kung gaano to kataas sa tingin mo, nilipad ko, anong dapat sinulid ang, ang gamitin mo. Maganda yan. Oh. I guess you can apply that to life. Yes. Diba? Okay. Mm-hmm. That's a good uh, topic for tomorrow. Okay. So, we'll be back tomorrow with the Jane Chandler Show. I'm G. And I'm with... Chandler! From? The Philippines. 
And what time is it there? Ah. Uh, <laughs> ano oras na diyan? Oh, kasi nangin sa oras wala akong relo dito talaga. Ah, wala akong relo. Okay. It's 10:04 a.m. Okay. Here in New Jersey and it's 10:04 p.m. in the Philippines. And again, thank you. Jen Chandra show signing out and we'll see you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. You're listening to Pinoy Podcast. It's G and Chandler on Pinoy Podcast.